Welcome back. All right, how about an AHL video? It's been a while. I know it's been a while, but uh, we do have some news that's AHL related, and I thought, you know, let's just go ahead and focus on the AHL. I'll put on my Cal Calgary Wranglers jersey, which nobody's seen me wearing on the channel because this is the first time I've worn it. I've had it for a while. I do have a Coachella Valley jersey as well. I have the, the, the dark one. Uh, I don't have the white version of the Wranglers or Coachella Valley as of yet. That will probably happen during the summer. So, uh, the Chicago Wolves. The reason for this video, it is from the Chicago Wolves. Jeff Merrick reporting, uh, and Elliot Friedman as well, that a notice was sent to player agents about how they intend to be independent next year. And there's some confusion from some fans about whether or not a team has to have an NHL affiliation. Technically, they don't. Although the league is meant to be a developmental league, they're not saying they're not going to be developmental. So, the Chicago Wolves... They're a team that's gone through a lot of different parent clubs over the years. And one thing that's been said here and there is that the Chicago Wolves, unlike some in the AHL, they want to win. They want championships. And they're independently owned as well. So the owner wants championships and wants to win. And that um, what they're looking at here is a potential for uh, name a prospect in your favorite team's organization who's not working out. It's just, it's not working out. Maybe he's not got good good numbers in the AHL right now either. The Chicago Wolves can say, hey, we'll bring him in. We'll do what we can with him. Uh, there might be a team that has an extra goaltender or two that they don't want to necessarily put in the ECHL. They want him to get time, and maybe they can work out a deal with the Chicago Wolves to, to loan him there. But it also means that if they, they back out of that, then they can give money to veteran players and have a chance to win, right? So, uh, one thing that I know I've seen at times with some AHL organizations, not all, but there's been a criticism where an NHL team will send a, a prospect they want to see him get developed. He, we want this guy developed. The coach at the AHL level looks at him and goes, his game has a lot of holes in it. We've got these veterans here, though, that are really good. We want to win some games. So we're going to play him on, say, the third or fourth line. And then the parent club says, no, you need to play him in the top six. And then there's the argument from there. And so for teams that want to win, sometimes being a good developmental organization means sacrificing the win in favor of helping with that development of those players. So the Wolves are, are a team that if you look through the history of, of, of the Chicago Wolves organization, they've gone through a number of parent organizations. Uh, they had a 10-year affiliation with the Atlanta Thrashers, who then moved to Winnipeg, and so that was gone. Uh, but yeah, it's it's an interesting situation here, because if this works, maybe we see another organization do it. Uh, no, NHL teams do not own the AHL affiliates. There are some that do, but there are some independent owners as well. And then the, the AHL is having some some issues as well. Uh, this has been reported on for a while. I don't believe I had it in a News of the Day video, so now we'll talk about it here, which is that there are a number of AHL teams, and how many it is, it remains to be seen, but apparently Bill Daly's involved as well from the National Hockey League level that the president and CEO of the AHL, Scott Housen, might be getting replaced at the end of this season, and then we'll probably find out why. Uh, why there's multiple organizations that want him gone, uh, why the National Hockey League's become involved to either speed this up or try to s smooth it over. But from what's being said, it sounds like this is just to try to get him out. So, uh, yeah, the AHL may look different next year. And if, if this works for the Wolves, so let's say that the Wolves are able to uh, put an organization together that both wins and helps to produce some good prospects and helps to turn around prospects who were souring in other organizations... Could we see other independently owned AHL franchises say, we like that Wolves model, we'd like to try it ourselves. And then would we see NHL teams more likely to buy themselves their AHL affiliation and put it put it right either in their own city, like we've got with Toronto, Winnipeg, and others, or will they, you know, try to have it at least close to home and, and just have that full control? Uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Now with league leaders... Uh, Michael Carcone, who was called up to Arizona and played relatively well when called up, uh, he is in Tucson and he's the league leader in points with 31 goals, 48 assists, 79 points. Uh, you don't see the gaudy point totals in the AHL usually because the guys with the really gaudy point totals, they get called up. Guys who are scoring at an incredible rate, yeah, parent teams call them up. 
Uh, and the goals leader in the league belongs to Calgary, to the Wranglers. It's Matthew Phillips with 34. So that's good news for the Flames fans. Plus, for Flames fans, really good news is Dustin Wolf leading the AHL with 39 wins, a 932 save percentage, and seven shutouts. So Dustin Wolf, who was seen as probably a steal for the Flames when they drafted him, yeah, he really looks like a steal now. So this year we've seen Markstrom struggle, we've seen Vladar struggle. They're both under contract into next year, but is it going to be tempting at all for Calgary to see what they've got with Wolf, at least in the preseason, and see how close he is, and then maybe look at moving one or the other goaltender uh, in order to make room for him. Other future NHL goaltenders, uh, Askarov in uh, Milwaukee, the uh, Nashville Predators farm location. Uh, he is the rookie leader in goaltending wins with 25, and he's had a good season as well. So Askarov could very well be up with Nashville, not necessarily next year, but because, again, Lankinen's now under contract for next year along with Soros, but he's not far off. And so that's good news for, for Nashville fans. And for hockey fans that are saying, oh, there's only three games in the NHL. Yeah, the AHL's got 10 games tonight. Uh, Abbotsford's not playing, though. I checked that. Uh, but, yeah, 10 games in the AHL. AHL's good hockey. One thing that I've, I've tried to tell people is if you can't afford to go to a National Hockey League game, or you're just discouraged with whatever reason, the, the NHL product, the AHL is a very good product themselves. And apparently with the Chicago Wolves, might be trying to improve that product over what it is now. Uh, the Chicago Wolves have a very long history of success and, and championships and, and excelling. And again, at times that might have involved playing your veteran players over your young players and maybe souring a relationship with a parent team. But... Yeah, it's about winning at sports in sports, isn't it? So at any rate, there you go. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.